The topic of today is who's creating your reality? A primer for conscious creativity. And I don't like disclaimers, but um, <laughs> I think in this case one is necessary. So the most important thing that you'll hear tonight is this is not the truth. Okay, so whatever I'm going to tell you is not the truth, it's an idea, it's a model, it's just something that I put together that seems to have some practical use for me. Doesn't mean that it has to have it for you, but that's up to you to judge, not for me to judge. So what I'm presenting you as a model, right? A model, a map, but the map is never ever the territory, as Mr. Korzybski was kind enough to say. So, you know, this is, the, this is here to, so supposedly, but it's not, obviously. So, um, Alfred Kahn Kozybski also, who is it freaky? No, okay, good. He also came up with uh, this concept of E prime, which is English without any form of to be. The point of that being that as soon as I say this is this, I make a judgment. And I judge it and I say this is what it is, it can't change, period. Right? If I say this is what appears to me, this is what seems to me, if I say those kind of things, I'm open. You know, and I'm more open to the thing to change, and I'm allowing it to be its own process, its own thing. Right? So instead of saying, this is what it is, I am this, I am that, say, right now I'm feeling this, I'm experiencing this. If you use M as an auxiliary verb, I guess that's okay, just not as a verb in itself. So you make no definite statements around that. The whole idea of the truth or the ideal and the right thing kind of came from good old Plato, who had this uh, wonderful allegory of the cave. I don't know how many of you have heard about the allegory of the cave? A couple of them? Okay, cool. The idea was, um, what he was describing, was this situation where we're all prisoners. Right? And we're sitting there, we're tied to our chairs, and all we can see is this wall, and we see things moving on it. But those things are not the real things. They're shadows cast from behind us, where there's a wall with these puppeteers running around with their little you know, objects, and behind it is a fire, and it blows the shadows on there, so we can never see the, the actual thing, right? What it's describing is a process of perception, where if you know what a table is, you can see a table. If you don't know what a table is, you won't see a table, right? And the problem with it is that, you know, that you can actually climb out of this cave and be that prisoner that escapes, and then you get to be up, up above, and you get out of the cave, and you see the real things, and you see the sun, and all that beautiful thing. So people from there took the idea that there is actually an ideal. The ideal, right? But what would the ideal table look like? Would it have three legs? Would it have four legs? Would it have, what, what is the ideal table? Right? There can't be an ideal table. There is no ideal. And similar to that, there is no truth. And that's not a pipe, even though it looks like one maybe. Or it appears to be a pipe or whatever. But really it's just a graphic on a wall in a PowerPoint presentation of a picture, of a painting, of something that might be a pipe, and a sentence that says it is not. So it's not a, there's no ideal, there's no truth, there's no final, final thing. So when you hear this tonight, don't ask, is this the truth? Say it rings true to me, works for me, serves me, applies to me, maybe gives me the results that I want to get. And so my goal today is to transform you as an observer in that regard. And the reason I'm saying that is because an observer, as an observer, each one of you has you know, certain actions available to you and certain results that come from those actions. If you want to change your results, you to create different results, you can change your actions. But the problem is, there's these results four and five that you might want to get to, but you can't even see the action that would lead there. Right? So you have to change as an observer, and then these actions become available to you and these other results are available to you. Right, so what I'm trying to do is to give you some more possible actions, some, shift you as an observer, shift you into this number two state, so that maybe you can have some more actions available and more, get better results in your life. So much for the disclaimer. Wow. <laughs>